Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim from Point Samples, and today I wanted to make a nice little video about asset lines in Silent 1. Asset lines are sometimes used in hard style. It's great to know how to make them. Uh, it's it's nice to drop in first in, in front of your first drop, the climax, you know. It's great to get inspired and you can always go crazy, you know. Uh, if you're making techno, good for you because then you have another video explaining these asset lines. Everybody's using them. So, Silent One is very capable. It used to be made in TP303. It's this plugin. It's not a plugin. It was analog gear, but uh, you get a digital version here. So, you can play sequences. And it was a great plugin, but then Silent One comes along and it's a great plugin as well to create it. So we're working on a pack and in this pack we're adding a lot of arpeggios because that's dope. Including some asset lines and it will sound like this. So in this video I'll teach you how to make this kind of sound. You get the feeling. So let's just walk you through it step by step. Open up Silent One. In Silent One just clear your bank, clear the preset so you have like a clear bank. So you will start with a saw wave and the first thing you wanna do is create a plug. So you do this by getting the cutoff A and B, open the decay of the ADSR, take down the sustain, open up the amount, and then take the filter type, put it on band pass, not on low pass, but band pass, it's very important. Then input AB, it's not that important, but just put it in that just to be sure. Take down the cutoff, open up the resonance, open up the drive a little bit. Same for this one, same for this one. And you will find this sound. It's very nice if you have a clicky sound in your plugin. Make sure to open up the release a little bit. Not that it becomes long, but just so it has a little bit more breathing room. It declicks the sound. So take it down an octave. What you then do is add distortion. Overdrive. Just like that. Add an EQ, remove the bass, take the treble a little bit up, around 2000 Hz, to boost the mids. At delay at a comfortable place. I'm not gonna explain this. It's just like put it at whatever you want. Don't make it too wet. You can also edit post processing, it's fine. Okay, but I wanna add it here so it sounds better. So. And a compressor. Just like this. So, what you then wanna do is create some sort of decay. Open up this decay, like all the way up. Because you, now you will have this sound. What you can then do is open up another envelope, open up this knob, take down the sustain again, and open this. The only thing you need to do right now is make sure the cutoff gets down so you get the sweet spot again. And there you have it. That's that classic TV303 sound. It's that acid sound. And you can do this with one envelope, but you can do it with two as well. And it's a little bit more easy because now... You can control it a little bit more. So this is like the long, I call it like the long cutoff band. And then you have this peak on top of it. That is this one. And then you kind of create a really nice plucky sound like pion pion, you know. So this is like the attack. And this one is a little bit the decay. You kind of split it up. So what then is left to do is take down the cutoff a little bit. We have a nice sound. Take an arpeggiator. And now I'll walk you through this thing here. So the gate controls the amount of space between each note. The swing is kind of the groove between each note. The time is obviously the time and let's put it at 16th because that is like this classic acid uh, level. Let's take down the gate a little bit. In the mode, you will change it to chord so that this thing here represents the, um, the melody of the arpeggio you're making. Change the velocity to this one. That's important as well. The rep means how many of these blocks it's gonna play. So if you put it at five, it's gonna play five and start again. Put it at eight, it's gonna play eight and start again. Same for 16. I want to put it at 8 for now because I want to play this whole sequence. If you then go for 16, uh, you make it longer, go to page 2 and start editing there. Page 1. Rep 8, only play page 1. What we're now going to do is just play around with this. But what generally really works is just taking a note down a full octave and then just putting it up a full octave. In this case, we have a very straightforward rhythm because now it's like this. <laughs> And that's fine, but it needs to be groovy. So what we can do is just take this note, put it at like this spot here, because then you're kind of creating like these really nice 
offbeat kind of things. And there you have it. That's that's that classic arpeggiated acid line. So what you can then add is this mono legato thing. Put it at around this range and make sure it's on N and not S. Then use these hold knobs to accentuate a few of these notes because then you get this. And that really works. Uh, like it, it makes it so much better. And then you can even take it further. Copy this. Go to page two. Paste it. And then just change the place of it copy part one and put it on page two because then you have two parts that sound like each other but you can tweak a little bit of the thing so make sure the rap is on 60 now what you can then do is take down the cutoff a bit And now you can completely tweak it the way you want it, right? It's not that much work. You mainly need to control this one here, this one, this one, this one, this cutoff filter, this one, this one, this one. It's like all about the resonance, the cutoff and sweet spot. And once you've found the sweet spot and you want to create an automation clip of this, just play this thing at once. So here you go. Let's play it in uh, like F. I'm playing this full thing, put it in my playlist. Now, if I want to make an automation clip once I found the sweet spot, move this knob, tools, last tweaked, create automation clip. So now move this knob a little bit and it's really about like 3% because look what happens if I put more. It's too crazy out here. So what you want to do is either make a small change like this and then it sounds like that. What you can also do is put it at 100%, double click this automation clip and turn down the max. Because then this automation clip will maximum go to the range you put it. And you can even start at zero as long as the minimum is at your sweet spot. So copy value, put that at the minimum. And now you can literally tweak whatever you want in this thing. There you have it. You can even add LFOs and just change the cutoff. You, you know, you can put it at a, a rate of 1.4 or maybe at a rate of alpha bar. Take this automation clip, make sure it's reversed, and then you have this. You can add all these crazy things. But anyways, asset lines are great to know how to make. They're very easy to do. It's just find the sweet spot, play with the cutoff and the resonance. It's going to be fine. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. It helps a lot. Let us know what you want to see in the future. And as always, have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye.